oftentimes, you know, we try to see these things or this principle of justice only with tangible things, with money, with possessions, with things we can see and feel and touch. But what about dignity? <clears throat> what about respect? What about someone's respect? You're not allowed to look at someone with contempt. It's haram because you're violating the right to be respected, to be honored. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored every human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Isra, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَم Son of Adam, all children of Adam are dignified by Allah, by default. So when you treat someone with disrespect for some mistake they made or some misunderstanding, you think you have the right to do this or you have authority over them, so you tend to misuse it and you think you can get away with this. You are violating one of the laws of Allah when you disrespect someone, when you look down upon them, when you treat them with contempt. You are violating the principle of justice that Allah does not take lightly. And you will pay that back on the day of judgment. So you're not allowed to disrespect a Muslim or to scare them. Not only a Muslim actually, even a non-Muslim. Any human life is precious in Islam. So every human being, have their, each one of them has their own basic standard level of respect and dignity and honor that is given to them by Allah. You can't take it away from them, no matter what, even if it's your child. Even if it's your enemy, still you need to observe that level of respect. And that's justice. And likewise, you have that respect, that inherent right to be respected and dignified. No one can take that away from you. And if they take it away from you, be sure that they will pay it back on the day of judgment. So it's not only tangible things, intangible things. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it haram to violate the sanctity of any human being. This is why Allah made it haram to backbite, to lie, to slander, to carry tales. Allah made it haram because it violates other people's rights. You're, un you're not allowed to do this. You can't. It's just like taking the money. You're not allowed to take someone's turn in the line. That's injustice. What's the difference between taking some property from someone that belongs to someone else or taking their right in the line, their turn in the line? Because you know someone, you can bypass the line, right? You know someone in that institution, you can bypass the line. You're taking someone else's right. And because it's intangible, we've been programmed somehow that it doesn't matter. We can do it. There's nothing wrong with this. But what's the difference between this and between taking money and property that belongs to someone else? What's the difference? It has value. It has value. The fact that you can't see it, you can't touch it, is irrelevant in this, in this context. And this is why this is an aspect of Islam that we have not been utilizing well as Muslims. And this is why one of the reasons why we're suffering a lot, why in our communities and in our societies, Muslim societies in the Muslim countries, there's a lot of cynicism, a lot of negativity, a lot of trauma, a lot of personal disputes, families are being destroyed. Children are brought up with lack of respect and lack of self-esteem, thinking this is discipline. When we are taking their sense of dignity away from them from an early age, we're not allowed to do this. You just can't. And the fact that you are abusing the power that Allah has given you, you will pay back. And it will be the worst type of transaction that you will do at that time. That's the worst currency you want to pay off your debt with.